Hello everyone, I am Nolan Clemens and today we're going to go over the best sales CRM. So for those of you that don't know, CRM is an acronym for Customer Relationship Management. And as a software, it's existed for decades now, ever since people started using computers for businesses. Um, now, a lot of startups and small businesses may start out using a spreadsheet to organize their customers, and this turns out to be very inefficient and ineffective, and that's why these CRM tools exist. Uh, so let's get started, and I'll go through some that may aid you, and most of these are gonna be for B2B sales, business to business. Some of them will have some B B2C, business to con consumer applications as well. So let's get started. And the first one is Close. Now, it used to be called close.io, and that's their website, but now it's just called Close, and it's here to help you close more deals. And if you can see here on my screen, uh, their interface is what I particularly like. You'll find that, uh, with few exceptions, there's not that much innovation going on in the CRM space. It's more a question of functionality, ease of use, interface, and or however you want to use it. So... Close, Close has a desktop application for PC and Mac. It has voice over IP phone integrations, so you can call people directly from the CRM. It has two-way email sync, which is very important for CRM. So basically that means if I send an email from my inbox, it gets logged into CRM if there's a contact that has that email address. If I send an email from, from the CRM, it gets logged in my inbox. And this is very important so you don't end up messaging people that you've already messaged with something and so that your team, other sales reps, can see who's, who is contacting who so that you can manage that so that two, two different people aren't contacting the same account. So their interface is pretty simple. They have the inbox view uh, where you can organize by emails. They have the opportunities, which is uh, as you start to close deals that's where you, that's where you list the information about them and then leads now some crms have contacts and leads as two distinct things um, i find just putting them in one and then having a custom field or a deal stage uh, as a way to organize it so in this case let's look let's look at this example company so the blue company so at the top is where their phone interface is, and you can leave voicemail drops and things like that. Uh, they have opportunities associated with this company or account listed, and they have the individuals or the contacts at that by email, phone, uh, text, or chat, however you want to organize it. And then you, have, you can see the history of interactions with that. So someone sent a text, and then that next person called them, and then there's an email there by that person. So this makes it very easy to see who's doing what. And, you know, you can contact people directly from this interface. And then the other thing is smart views. So based on the custom fields that they have in the deal stage, and I'll say in this case, this is tagged as potential. And you can customize these to whatever sales cycle you use. Which, which is great, but you can, if we go to, if we went to the search, if, if I actually had this pulled up, you can do a custom search by various fields. I want people in this city, in this state, uh, with this revenue size, based on whatever data you get uh, from your prospecting. And I have a different video for that, that I'll list out. You can have smart views by that off to the side, uh, so you can just view them and then go down, have your reps go down that list. Uh, so this is by far my my favorite CRM to use, uh, but we'll go on to some of the other ones. The next CRM is Streak, and essentially it's a plug-in for Gmail. Uh, it's a CRM that fits directly inside your inbox. Uh, it also has email tracking and email scheduling, which is very useful. And this is for great for teams that are just starting to figure out their sales process. They do have a free version that, that has has limited functionality but it's but it's great because you can still even though that you'll be in logged into different email inboxes your team will 
you can still have some common view of what's going on in the respective pipeline uh, and just just ha how you organize how you organize your leads or prospects and it's very quickly it just installs into gmail and they also have some mobile apps for you to use with them speaking of gmail g suite uh which used to be called google apps copper which used to be called prosper works is design a crm design to work with g suite and if i were showing you the interface you'd be able to see did they have that material design uh, that you see with a lot of Google and Android interfaces? So it's very easy to use and, and get and get things organized. And similar to what you saw with Close I.O., you can have an interaction history based on that, uh, based, based on who's messaging and, and what, what's going on there. So here, there's an example of it. And it's able to get their, their LinkedIn information, which is useful, and have a photo of uh, the contact based based on either their email or, or that whatever wherever they pull their information from. Another CRM is so HubSpot has multiple function they have multiple products in in their marketing suite. Their CRM they they release as, as free. Now last time I checked there was no true two way email sync available unless there is a direct integration, which with whatever email tool you're using or messaging tool you're using. And I'll have a link, if you want to see some of those tools, I have a link to that. But one key advantage is because of, because of their uh, market share, they're able to get a lot of integrations for third party plugins and apps uh, that you can use with that. And then moving on to the next one. So Zendesk Cell. Okay, so there was a standalone CRM company called Base CRM that got acquired by Zendesk. And so now it's known as Zendesk Cell. So Zendesk is designed for customer service and support. And Base, what was neat about this is that it had a mobile app where if a lead called you or a customer called you on your mobile device and you had that number saved as their contact information in CRM, the CRM would pop up and allow you to instantly add notes about that call, what they said. Uh, if you want to move move them up a stage in in the uh, pipeline, so that so that, that was very that was very neat uh, tool for it. And I guess it this helps unify some of the uh, interactions that you would have with customers, especially if you're already having to use Zendesk for support uh, for your leads and prospects. You can also use this, a product that's within the same suite of that. A new, kind of a newer CRM that over the past couple of years has popped up in the market is called Pipedrive. And as the name suggests, one of their main views besides the email inbox is kind of a Kanban style board that you see in Trello for organizing your, your pipeline and able to see opportunities with that. Um, it, it really depends on your personal preference. And most of these tools have some form of free trial so you can figure out what works best for you and your team. Zoho has a suite of multiple business products, one of which is their CRM, which does have two-way email sync, I know, uh, which which is gr great and should, should essentially be required for that. Uh, so if you're from, if you're using Zoho, it makes sense to use this. Uh, it does have integration. And as far as integrations in general, I'll go back to close real quick. Really, all you need is an integration with Zapier. Zapier connects apps to other apps. Uh, so that's that's all you have to worry about. And I think all of these will have that um, on there. And then the last, but certainly not least, is Salesforce. Now, Salesforce is the market leader in the CRM space. Uh, and part of, now that doesn't mean it, it would be right for you, but part of the reasons why you would want to use this is because of its market share, it's created essentially an ecosystem or a network of third party plugins and applications specifically designed for Salesforce. And if they're not specific to Salesforce, it's a product that certainly integrates with it. Um, 
the pro it may be too much of a cost, particularly for startups, entrepreneurs, and some small businesses. Um, in general, if you're not using whatever CRM you're choosing, you're not going to get re results out of it anyway. But so make sure you use this. And the other uh, barrier is there's a very steep learning curve to Salesforce, which is why they created the Salesforce Trailhead program. So they have, um, you know, you see this kind of like a national park uh, cartoon, you know, animation that they have for how you learn various stages. And there's, you can be a Salesforce administrator, Salesforce developer, self, you know, they have different roles uh, for how, how they want people to learn the product suite itself. So um, if you, it, it is a standard, uh, but that's, that's why these other tools exist for people that wouldn't be a good fit for Salesforce. So I have these, some others listed on my blog, Clemens.io. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for listening. And, you know, if you have any other tools that you find that you want me to cover, just leave a comment below. Thank you.